And so, and, but we also wanted to share one story that's going on, um, this whole idea of having an idea and, and exploding it into some reality. So would you guys welcome Lene Feeling uh, up, up on stage here? Um, it's, it's especially fun. At, at this moment right now, her husband Dave is over in the uh, other warehouse sharing the story. Um, they have a shared story together, but it's especially fun for Susie and I uh, because Dave and Lene were in our Life Together group back in Detroit, which was so cool. That's how we met each other was just by getting in a small group together. And uh, when we uh, put the call out to uh, consider joining us to, to plant uh, this church in Salt Lake City, I think the seed really got stuck in you guys, but it took you three years to get here. So... Yeah, but they got here. That was awesome. And, it was, but it's, and even that would be another great story to share the journey of, of what it is to follow God. But there's a new journey that they're on, and, and I, I can't wait for you guys to hear about it. Um, so why don't you go ahead and just kind of share how the idea even came to be. Um, it was just about a little over a year ago, and my husband and I were helping out with a high school youth group here. And one of our friends, Josh, came in as a guest speaker to share about what he was, um, what he'd learned about about uh, major humanitarian issues that are affecting the world. And we were trying to um, kind of rally our students and say, hey, how, could, how can we help? And um, one of the issues that he brought up was the clean drinking water crisis. And he mentioned a statistic that just kind of stabbed David and me both in our heart. Um, it's that 1.6 million children die every single year. That's one child every 21 seconds from diseases that are caused by dirty drinking water. Um, and that statistic just kind of stayed in there. So um, one of the things that Josh said, uh, like I said before, was that if um, we work together, you know, we can actually do something maybe not as an individual. And my husband kind of had that start his wheels going. And he was driving home and thought of an idea. And it's three for five. That's the name of our um, nonprofit organization. Basically, it's that a, a person gives $5 for clean water and then asks three of his or her friends to give $5 for clean water. And um, they'll ask three of their friends to give $5 for clean water. It just kind of continues with lots of waves. And when he got home and checked out the mathematics of it, it was really sweet. Um, if you have 15 waves of people giving $5 and asking three friends to give $5, it reaches a community of 20 million people, which raises $100 million for millions of people to get clean water. So that's the big vision. Isn't that a cool idea? Yeah, you can clap. It's all right. <laughs> uh, be you nice know, wild though. I mean, how many of you have ever, you know, been in any situation where somebody will kind of share some things and all of a sudden you'll have some ideas? Anybody, you know, you, you sit there and some ideas? Okay, four of you. This is a very inspiring crowd. <laughs> all right. Now, I know you guys do. I mean, we all sit there and, and these creative ideas will come to us. Um, but this idea has grown into more. So why don't you take us a little bit on the journey of how, because cause Dave's an entrepreneur, so he has lots of ideas. So why did this idea, how did it actually become something that you wanted to flesh out? Yeah, that was, that was probably about a three-week process. When you first told me I, the idea, I was like, great idea. Yeah, okay, <laughs> huge, somebody, yeah. yeah, huge vision. I don't know about that. Um, and then later on that night, as I was uh, trying to go to sleep, I couldn't fall asleep. God, like, turned my brain on and just went vroom, 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 and turned my heart on. And I, at, like, 3 in the morning, still wasn't sleeping. I got up, went downstairs, researched, um, prayed a lot about the idea, checked the mathematics, does it actually really work? Um, and uh, K2 at that time, that month, it was in November, we were reading Proverbs kind of as a church, and it was November 16th, so I looked up Proverbs 16 just to see, okay, God, do you have anything for me? Um, and it starts out, the plans of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord, so he's going he's gonna to determine whether you actually do it. Commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will be established. And um, that was kind of the beginning, and we also shared our idea with some really trusted friends. They encouraged us, and then I think it kind of culminated, actually, when Christian Kokerscheidt came to speak um, before he actually moved out here. And he talked about the touch of God, how it challenges people on two, for, well, for two ways. Um, one is that it challenges you to expect the unexpected from God, which 
this was entirely unexpected, so we're like, yeah, that's us. And then um, the second thing is that sometimes it requires you to take steps of pure faith. Like, you don't know how it's going to happen, but you're just going to step out anyway. And David and I both left that service, and we're like, okay, I think three for five is our touch from God, and here, let's go. Cool. And so, so the journey went on for a while, and I loved how you guys said it. It wasn't even that you were pursuing this. It felt like it was pursuing you because it just kept coming up. It was just some of the things that happened there. It, it did. Um, we had uh, phone calls from people saying, hey, we'd like to donate time or money. We, we'd share the idea with somebody, and they'd say, hey, um, how about if I help you get hooked up with pro bono legal services? All the way up to four months later, um, kind of when we decided, all right, there's a no turning back point here. Um, that happened in April. We, um, we had everything in place except for our nonprofit public charity status, which would let us take in donations and let you guys who donate, hopefully if you donate, um, <laughs> get tax write-offs. Uh, and um, normally that process takes 12 to 18 months for the IRS to issue that status. And we felt like it was a huge miracle because we were issued that status in three weeks. And at that point, um, I think my husband put it really well. I think he said, if you, I'm going to not quote him well. Anyway, well, he, if you he, have the, he what said, what he said, it was amazing because we were talking this week and, um, and I was just trying to find out from these guys, like, how did you know that this is something you're really supposed to do? And when was there no turning back? And, I, and Dave just said, he goes, when I realized that I was in the position to try, how could I not try? And, and that, it was so profound for me. I remember just sitting there thinking because one of the things that happened for them was after that day when the youth ministry, um, Dave actually took Jackson, their one-year-old, home and put him to bed. And as he laid him in bed, he just sat there and looked at him and said, every 21 seconds, one of these little babies dies because it simply can't get clean water. And, and all of a sudden, for these, I love what happened. It's in, in their hearts, Dave just said, and I'm in a position to stop that from happening? And I'm not going to try? You know, see what I'm saying? It was, just, it was just a phenomenal thing for me. Um, but that's what's so cool is it was a long journey. It was a long process, but eventually God just did enough to let you know. And then you've had people just hop on board with you. So share about that. Just it's been amazing. We've had um, experts in business, law, medical doctors, you know, come on our board. Um, we have graphic designers who are volunteering, uh, video people, really creative, awesome people who are kind of writing our script for... Um, the video we'll have on our homepage to help people know about the water issue, uh, animators. I mean, just, it's like God's pulling people out of the woodwork and we're like, praise God, because we, we didn't know. I mean, we, we had to have the faith that would happen, but we didn't really know. It's just been amazing. God's, God's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is his, this is his cause. This clean water cause is mm -hmm. his cause. He has turned the eyes of the world yeah. onto this cause. It's awesome. Yeah. And you guys get to be a part of it. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, isn't that amazing? I just, I just, when they came and shared it with Susie and I, I mean, when you guys hear that idea, uh, five bucks? Who doesn't have five bucks? I get three friends, three, to give five bucks. You guys do all the same. And 15, down, 15 waves down the way, we've just raised $100 million. I think it's going to happen. That's awesome. So way to go, you guys. You guys here get up for, for, for Lene. It is so cool. <clears throat>